Whoa, it's gonna be a hot day. It's only 9.15 in the morning. And I just went to my buddy's shop to load up my trailer for the, uh, load up the columns that I am going to be installing today. And I'm already soaking wet. And I, it's only been an hour since I got there. So that'll be a fun day today. Lots of water will be necessary. But since I'm in my air conditioned truck and it feels so good right now, I wanted to talk about something. I'm making a video and you know, my videos get 200 views or something. And it sometimes it seems like a lot of, well, obviously it's a lot of effort sometimes to make a video depending on uh, the content, what's in it, and the research or whatever. But I want to point something out um, that I do spend a lot of time making videos about something that I see happening and I, I feel it's very important that other people become aware of the truth of some of these things and so I make videos but I want to point out something I don't need money to make videos I'm going to work it's gonna be 102 degrees today and I'll be out in that Sun uh, building things on the front of a house and installing them and then later after that I'll go work on a video when I'm done working today tonight whatever I'll go work on a video uh, that I want to make and when I see it get 200 views it it's like almost a little depressing and I'm not complaining I'm saying that more people need to understand this information the, the scriptures, the Bible, um, has lots in it, lots of things in it, but there's, sorry, I had the radio on there, um, there's very clear things in the Bible that, and this is what that video I'm working on is about, and I'm, I just wanted to talk about it right now, because I actually want input from other I want input from other people who believe they've been called, believe they've been shown the truth and believe that they have been called to share the truth and to say it in this world. Let their light shine. Because that's what I feel like. I feel like I, I learned something in the last six or seven years that, that everyone needs to understand. Everyone needs to understand it. And, um, Many people do understand it, but I feel as though that's the reason for my life. That's the reason for my life. I, I don't make videos on YouTube uh, to benefit financially because I don't even monetize my channel. I don't take any money for anything because it's not about money. Now there's a lot of channels that say, please donate to our Patreon or, or bless us with, on our Patreon. That's fine, they can do that. My question is, what are they doing during the day then? Like, do they work? A lot of them seem to think that YouTube is gonna be their work, and maybe it is. And that's great if that's the, the deal, but for me, I do hard work during the day, and then whenever I have time, I make videos or, or do live streams or whatever. Well, I want input from these other people, the ones, you know, let, let me just give an example of, of something that I hear pe many people say, and I don't even, I don't even disagree with it. I, I'm not saying it's wrong, but it's not me. It's not the way that I am living my life. I love that. Um, Paypal blinds you from seeing 
what's in the scriptures. What I'm saying is a lot of people say this, what I'm going to say here. And I don't, I don't think that, that it's true what they're saying. They say uh, that the, the PayPal, or I'm just using PayPal, just getting money allows them to keep doing what they're doing. And let me, my stance on that. You know how do you make? You know how you make a video. You don't have. You don't have to be uh, experienced content creator or something to make a video. If you have a phone, there's apps like Kinemaster or uh, there's several apps, video making apps that are free on your on your phone. And there's also if you have a computer or a laptop or any kind of Windows uh, setup like Windows. What is it? I don't know what it is now, but whatever. There's, uh, it comes with your computer, uh, uh, you know, like Windows, it comes with Windows Video Maker or, or Movie Maker. It's free. And so, and it's it's quite easy to use. And it doesn't take a lot of time to actually make a video. It takes a lot of time uh, for finding the content or, or uh However, the content is presented, that takes the time. You have to, you know, like if you're, say you're trying to quote some scripture or something like that, you can easily just quote the scripture, but to get it in the video, you either have to record, have someone re record yourself, or you have to download a recording of it and add that into the video, which takes time to do all that. But I wanna know from, other, I want input from other people. Am I crazy or something? Am I, am I, do I not know how to read words? Do I not know the meanings of words? Um, I'm just going to give an example. Uh, the firmament, so many people believe about the, believe the firmament now. That's awesome. I believe in the firmament. God put the sun, moon, and stars there, and and to give light upon the earth and to be for signs, seasons, days, and years. But <laughs> there's a place there that nobody talks about. Every as if it's in, invisible. Darkness, like seriously, darkness is real. I'm not trying to even say what it is. I'm saying that. There was darkness upon the face of the deep. There's an abyss above the earth, a bottomless pit above the earth. Why are people not understanding that? Uh, there's angels bound under chains of darkness in the sky. People would say, oh, they're in the earth. No, they're not in the earth. Read Enoch chapter 15, read Enoch chapter 10. They were buried in the earth for 70 generations. The fallen angels were, but Right after that, the verse, it's, I think it's verse 13 in chapter 10, it says, They were led off to the abyss of fire, where they will be confined forever. Unless men let them out, but that's what it says, they'll be confined forever. So, what is, <coughs> excuse me, what is being missed? What is being missed? Enoch chapter 15 it states more than once, and it's God saying it. He says, uh, the spirits of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. And it's talking about the their offspring. Their offspring would be, uh, well, this is gonna be a long day. Um, their offspring would be on the earth without bodies hungering and, and tormenting men and so that's unclean spirits, and that's probably where things like depression and uh, addiction and things like that come from. Uh, unclean spirits. So there's unclean spirits here on the earth, and there's fallen angels bound under chains of darkness in the sky. If there's another place of darkness, I would please put it in the comments. Where is it? What, what place of darkness do you know of that isn't night because God called darkness night that's what he called it you know how he called the firmament heaven he called darkness night and light day 
I'm just having a hard time understanding this thing I see that other people aren't understanding it. That other people are actually like denying it. They they don't agree with it. Um, one more thing before I gotta go. Uh, there's books that we have, like one being the Ascension of Isaiah. In chapter seven, Isaiah, it's a vision that he had and he goes through the seven levels of the firmament. He's gets taken up through those levels and he describes everything that happens. What does he see in the firmament? Samuel and his hosts and the angels of Satan were fighting one another. There's angels bound under chains in the darkness of the firmament. Okay, God put the sun, moon, and stars in the firmament to give light upon the earth and to be for signs, seasons, days, and years. Otherwise, it'd be a dark place, right? I mean, I don't know. He made light before that, but the firmament without the sun, moon, and stars, it's darkness. Don't you get that? Darkness, dark waters. So outer space isn't isn't an empty uh, wonderland. It's a bottomless abyss of darkness. We've inherited lies, you guys. So my video anyway, I'm going into some of these things, okay? The dragon. There, I'm gonna have some channels and it's not like I'm trying to rip on anyone. What I'm trying to do is wake people up. If you don't think that there's a dragon flying in the firmament, I can guarantee that you are gonna say that it's fake. Well, the way I see it, it's not fake because you can see it and it's just something that this world is doing. They built a dragon and they send astronauts up and down and it cast into the earth. And this is the, the, the description that John gave us, that, that's what this is. So the first dragon to ever fly in the firmament is now, since John wrote the book. You really wondering where, who Satan is or what Satan is? He's the dragon, the devil. And he's made of metal in a conical shape, a horn shape. And we live in the world where that exists. So that's a, uh, that's, yeah, I don't know. I can't, I can't make other people take the scriptures seriously. But I, I'm working on a video and it's going to be where I specifically bring up specific verses or chapters or whatever specific parts of scripture where very specific things are being done and I'm gonna I, like I never it seems like the YouTube community I don't really get very much um, like I I don't collaborate with people very much on YouTube and I think it's because I see this this thing that nobody that, that people think is ridiculous or something but it's just what the prophets wrote it's the it it's the scriptures being fulfilled. And a lot of people would say, no, it's not. And I'm saying, well, the words that the prophets spoke are come to pass right now. Like there's a dragon in heaven waiting to devour. Like when people say, no, there's space station. That doesn't, that doesn't go up there. That's fake. No, it's not. Like, don't you know, Jesus said, man can't ascend into heaven. They're not ascending into heaven. They're going up in the sky and then they're going sideways. And, and if they go fast enough, they perpetually free fall. They fall into a dark place that doesn't have a bottom. Anything in the solar system is falling and will never reach the bottom. It's, that's what an orbit is. It's, an orbit is a clear sign of a bottomless pit of darkness exactly what the prophets wrote um so what what the reason why i want to make this video is because very soon and i don't know when but very soon the sky is going to depart it's going to roll up like a scroll and the stars are going to fall this is something real that the prophets saw it. and everything else that the prophet like the dragon and the little horn waxing great even to the host of heaven that daniel saw and casting the stars down 
that's going to happen because all the other things are happening exactly the way that those prophets wrote it down. Like Zechariah 5, the curse that goes forth over the face of the whole earth. It's a curse. Rocketry. Wizardry. It is also the vehicle of destruction. It's a rod of wickedness. There's rockets in your Bible and they're at the end. They're what destroy the sky. They make the sky roll up like a scroll and the powers of the heavens would be shaken. It's, we live in such a serious time and I don't know why I'm in the position I'm in, the, the way I see things, but I do know that there's a legitimate concern that I have uh, about people being deceived and just considering everything to be being faked by men, which is not what the Bible says. The Bible does not say that. Paul told the Ephesians that we don't have a we don't have a battle like that. We don't have a battle against fellow human beings or whatever you want to call it, our brothers and sisters. We have a, we, we have an angelic enemy that is up in the sky. And that's exactly what Paul said. He said, spiritual wickedness in high places. Cosmic powers of evil in the heavenly realm, if you look at the Greek. In the heavenly realm. In the sky. What are planets? What are wandering stars? That's where you should look if you want to understand uh, who's lying. Because NASA's not lying. NASA's falling into a trap. That's what's happening. The people at NASA don't know some secret or are hiding the shape of the earth that's the dumbest thing that i just can't believe that you people believe that so i want to show you in that video i'm working on i want to show you not to ignore these things like every i mean it's not only that people ignore it they argue against it I just don't understand that, but I don't think I ever will. <laughs> because I was saying those prophets saw these things happen. They saw the order that everything was taking place and is taking place now. And you know what both John and Daniel said? They both said, I'm loving this air conditioning, by the way. They both said that the dragon or the little horn, that he prevailed against the saints and, and overcame them until the Lord came, until Jesus showed up. And he has this kingdom that he brings and it's eternal. And all those people, I think all those people, they go right into his kingdom not knowing, not knowing maybe until they get there, but not, not knowing the horrible thing that they've just escaped that's going to happen to all the people in the world. It just seems weird from my point of view. It seems like God wouldn't want these people to be deceived. And I'm talking about truthers. People that think that NASA's faking space. Stop. NASA's not faking space. This is much bigger than that. The deception that that is happening is on a whole different level than NASA lying or SpaceX faking something. They're not faking anything. The sky's gonna roll up like a scroll and that it that's gonna be the last day of God's long suffering. And if people don't come to the truth by that day, my understanding is they're not going to. They're going to be sucked up by an abyss. They're gonna be swallowed up by an abyss like the globe. The globe's kind of already swallowed up by the abyss. Outer space, the solar system. I think that's Babylon the Great, that great city. And it rains over the earth so much that even the saints I don't know what to say. But I'm working on a video and I'm going to be using other channels uh, 
talking about these things in the video and I'm also um, putting time into this. I hope people watch it. That's all. All right, I better get to work. It's going to be a long day. Thanks for listening and sorry I'm so sweaty and grubby. I feel pretty good now though because it was pretty cool in there, but it's hot out here. I don't know how hot. Let's see what my truck says. My truck says 91. We got 10 more degrees to go before it gets hot. All right, have a good day and talk to you sometime soon.